Welcome to Ecanic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program TPMS sensors on uh, on your vehicle. So here we're going to use the Ecanic scanner. And what you want to do is you want to go to the maintenance function and then scroll down until you see the TPMS. And that's right here. And then you can see here the different makes that are supported. It does not show the specific models, but you get an idea. Um, now some models you can, um, if you know the sensor ID, TPMS sensor ID, you can write it and program it to TPMS system. On some models, um, it, the scanner is gonna walk you through the steps on how to, or the procedure, I should say, on how you actually uh, get the system to recognize a new TPMS sensor. But here, this is a Mercedes and this is an S-Class. You can see the different models here. But let's keep going. All right, so we look at all those models that are supported for Mercedes. Now, um, it is important to know which sensor is, um, as you can see here, these are kind of like broken down by model year. So from 2007, 2009, they use a 433 megahertz uh, sensor. And then this is 2010, so it falls between this 2009 and 2013. So I'm gonna select that. And then there's learn how sometimes this is gonna uh, just walk you through the steps on how you can do it if especially if you don't know those sensor IDs But if we do know the sensor IDs, so if you install new sensors on on your tires or if you have the The tire off you can look at the sensor itself and they will normally have that sensor ID written right on top of it So make sure before you install new TPMS sensors get that sensor ID um and you know the other option is going to have to use a, another tool to go by the um, by the sensor itself and then read the ID. Um, this specific device is not it's not able to just go right next to the sensor and read the IDs. It can read the IDs through the OBD2. So like now we're connected to the OBD2 port, so we're connected to the TPMS control module, and are telling okay, tell us all the IDs that you have stored. But if you replace one of them. You need to know what the ID is. You also can come in here and write down all these because if you are replacing only, let's say, this front left, uh, you will still need to re enter the other three, which should still be the same as what they're here, and then the front is going to change. But you get uh, sensor IDs there. If you, uh, if the sensor IDs are not the issue, uh, you can come read the codes here, and in this case, we have no codes. This is going to show codes related to PMS sensor and why. Um, um, why that TPMS light is on and then you can clear codes here but um, that should only be carried out after you fix the issue you have live data it shows you the sensor IDs temperature is each wheel pressure at each wheel we have one wheel with a little bit uh, low air on it anyway so service and then you can um, do some testing as well but let's go back to OBD relearn this is where you'd go to program the new TPMS sensors. You have four sensors not triggered. Do you want to enter the sensors manually? We're going to say yes. And then this is where we're going to write all the different sensor ID numbers. Okay, so I went ahead and wrote all the sensor IDs. So you'd write, let's say, front level is new. So you write that new there. But then on this, all the other ones, you can just write the old sensor IDs there. If you press here, this pops up and you can write the numbers, um, sensor IDs there. And when you're done, press this down arrow and then you press OK. And now it's writing these new sensor IDs to the TPMS control module. It says OBD relearn OK. And that's it. So the new sensor IDs are learned. So basically, the only thing is to keep in mind is you need to um, uh, know the sensor IDs before you install it, write it down the sensor is on the uh, the IDs are written on the sensor itself you come to sensor IDs write the other ones that you need to just rewrite and sometimes um, as I said earlier there is um, a learn help there's certain on, on a lot of cards there's uh, procedures that you can carry out so if you have already everything installed uh, there's procedures that you can go through 
to make the vehicle automatically relearn the uh, the sensors and in that case you're not manually writing the um the, the ids to the tpms sensor like we just did here what you do you do things like you start with the left front tire you drop the pressure really quick for about like one minute and then maybe you might have to raise the pressure you might I need a compressor to raise that pressure up so it sees that sensor it recognizes that and it tells you move to the other corner drop the pressure on that tire raise it up or whatever the instructions say and so on that's a pretty common uh, procedure in a lot of cars on how to learn new 2 PMS sensors.